Hello there everyone, my name is Dale McLean from Dale Mobile Fitness. Welcome to week six of the Saturday Indoor Bootcamp. Today all you will need is a kettlebell and give yourself some space in the living room or in the garden to do this. First exercise will be multi-directional lunges, six rounds of those. The next exercise will be a single leg deadlift, 20 repetitions, chest press, for the next 20 repetitions, tricep extensions, working the back of your arms, 20 of those, upright row to a shoulder press, 20 of those, hammer curls, 20 Russian twists, 20 and finishing it off with rapid knees up, 50 of those, two sets, let's get going. So we'll start with the warm up, we'll do jumping jacks and feet shovels. If you do around about 15 of those, just to get the muscles and everything warmed up in the entire body, then we'll get into stretching. Now we're getting into some stretching, so we'll start with the middle back. I want you to hold it there for 10 seconds, just round your shoulders and that will stretch the back. Move on to the chest, so bring your palms facing forward, stick your chest right out, move your arms back, hold it for 10 seconds, move into the stretch every couple of seconds. Now we'll do core rotations, eight repetitions each side and that's a dynamic stretch which is working the muscle gently to stretch the muscles. Now we'll move on to the hamstrings and we'll do both together by doing a we'll call straight like a deadlift, keep the legs straight with a slight bend to the, slight bend to the knees and just move your body down do not round your back, you're not touching your toes and you'll feel it in the hamstrings. Now we'll move on to the thighs. So grab your foot, just pull it gently back, keep your knee in line with the other leg, hold it there for 10 seconds and move it into the stretch throughout the 10 seconds. Remember to swap to the other side. Now we're going to stretch the inner thigh, so you'll see my feet are pointing one way. Make sure you go, your knee goes in line with your foot, keep the other leg straight, and you feel this in, like I said, the inner thigh. Move into the stretch every 10 seconds, repeating the other side. Now we're going to perform multi-directional lunges, so you're going at different angles here, it takes a bit to get it, so take a step out, take a step to the side, take a step back, both legs, make sure you bend the knee, make sure that the foot that leads does not, knee does not come past the toes. Now when you do the side lunge here, keep the leg straight that you leave and the other one bends and always sit your bum out. Back lunge, what you see here, try not to look where you're going because that's the whole point, it makes it harder. Just control the balance and keep it up. So it's working your inner thighs. This works mainly your thighs, but using balance to do it, perception, guessing where you're going. Working your thighs here, inner thighs, that is sorry, and glutes and thighs.
Okay, you've got one more, which is the forward one, and now we're done. Now we move on to the straight legged deadlift, so keep your feet hip width apart. Pointing forward, keep a slight bend to the knees, but reasonably straight, slight bend. Um, you'll bring one leg up. Notice how I'm going in line with my body, with my legs. Maintain the balance, which I'm struggling with here, to the mat. And you'll feel this on the hamstrings. It's always important to have a weight, but just choose the weight that you've got, obviously, and keep it going. We're going to be swapping over to the other side now, just a second, and that's us. Swap over to the other side. Again, maintain the balance. You notice how my feet, they're moving all the time, that's so I can keep my balance, that's working muscles there to stabilise me. Now we're on to the last five seconds, and you'll get one more in, and that's you. Next exercise is the chest press, so line the floor, have a slight bend to your knees, and weight in front of your chest and push it straight up. Keep a slight bend at the top, and keep it going for 20 repetitions. This is going to work your front of your chest, upper chest muscles, watch the back of your arms as well, the triceps, and it works the front of the shoulders. Because you're lying on the floor at what your tummy. Last five seconds, and we're done. Now keep the weight straight in up in front, and I want you to bring it weight back to your skull, keeping your elbows in line with the body. So imagine that you've got something in between your elbows, like a ball, and you're squeezing that gently. When it comes down, breathe out on the way up. The only thing that moves is the forearms. And you'll feel it solely on the back of your arms. So we're coming up to the last five seconds. Keep it going, one more, and you're done. Now we're on to the shoulder press and upright row at the same time. So pull it up, have a slight flip at this point to catch, and shove it above your head. Keep the elbows close to your body. Eh, sorry, elbows pointing straight up when you're doing the upright row, and push the weight over your head, keep a slight bend. There should be no jarring on your joints here. This works the upper back, the arms, all of the shoulders, and especially the core. Keep your hands above your head, but that little flip movement 
really it puts pressure on your core, so keep your tummy nice and tight. The only thing that moves is your arms. Now we're on to the last five seconds, so you'll get one more, and that's you complete. Now we're on to the hammer curls, so hold it in a hammer position. The only thing it moves is your forearms, so you're bending the elbows to do that. And you'll feel this more in the forearm. You will feel it in the upper arm as well, the biceps, but it's because of the way you're holding the weight. It hits a certain type of muscle body still, the only thing that moves like you say is your arms. So you're on the last five seconds, here we go. One more and you're done. Now we're on to Russian twists, if you get in the floor, go in a W position, keep your tummy nice and tight and just rotate the weight to each side. You're going to work your obliques here the muscles in your sides, but you also work your tummy muscles as well and keep breathing regular for out, throughout for 20 repetitions. Now we're on to the last five seconds, keep that up. And you're done. Now we're moving on to the last exercise, which is wrapping knees up. You'll do 50 of those, go as fast as you can. So keep in mind that you can do another set, take a 60 second break, a uh, drink of water between that, or you could end it at this, no shame in that, because it is a tough workout, and that's us done. Now we're on to the cool down stretches, so we'll stretch two muscle groups here, your hamstrings and your inner thighs, on the floor, keep your foot up, leg straight, and move into the stretch without rounding your back. You hold this for 30 seconds, moving into the stretch every 10 seconds. So obviously you're going to do it for longer than what I'm doing it here. And it stretches the stretches out the back of the legs to get them back to a normal length after the workout. Moving on to the inner thighs and just hold your ankles bring your feet together, bring yourself up, and push gently against the inner leg. Hold there for about say 10 seconds, move into the stretch every 10 seconds. It's a total of 30 seconds. And that's us nearly done. Well done. Thanks for watching folks. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.